Welcome back to the Tech Battle Zone. In today's video, we're diving into a detailed comparison of two popular Netgear 8 port Gigabit Ethernet unmanaged switches GS108 and GS308. We'll be breaking down their similarities and differences, covering everything from features and performance to design and overall value. This video will help you decide which switch is the best fit. So let's jump in and explore these two options. Similarities. 8. 1 Gigabit Ethernet Ports Both the GS108 and GS308 models come with 8 Gigabit Ethernet ports, offering high-speed data transmission for up to 8 devices simultaneously. These ports are perfect for connecting multiple devices, such as computers, printers, and game consoles, to your network. Similarity number 2. Fanless Housing Both switches feature a fanless design, meaning they operate without internal fans, this design not only reduces noise but also minimizes the chances of mechanical failure, making the switches more durable and ideal for quiet environments like offices or home setups. Similarity number three, mounting options, desktop or wall. Both models offer flexible mounting options. You can either place them on a desktop or mount them on a wall, giving you versatility based on your space and networking setup. Similarity number four, metal housing. The material used for both switches is metal, giving them a more robust and durable feel compared to cheaper plastic models. This metal housing also aids in heat dissipation, ensuring the switch stays cool during operation, even when handling heavy network traffic. Similarity number five, silent operation. Thanks to their fanless design and metal casing, both switches offer silent operation. Let's go with differences. The first different is warranty. DS108 comes with a three-year warranty, giving users a longer period of coverage for repairs or replacements. GS308 comes with a two-year warranty, offering slightly less coverage. This difference may indicate the manufacturer's confidence in the long-term durability of the GS108 over the GS308. Max MAC Entries GS108 supports up to 4,000 MAC, media access control, entries, which refers to the number of unique devices the switch can track on the network. GS308 supports up to 8,000 MAC entries, meaning it can handle twice as many connected devices. This is useful in environments where the switch is used in larger networks or with devices that frequently connect and disconnect. Buffer memory. GS108 has a 192 kilobytes buffer memory, which helps store and manage data before it's transmitted between devices. A larger buffer size can improve performance, especially during high network traffic. GS308 has a 128 kilobytes buffer memory, which is smaller than the GS108. Although sufficient for most home or small office setups, it might show slight performance differences under heavy load compared to the GS108. Weight. The GS108 weighs 0.47 kilograms, making it slightly heavier due to its larger size or possibly more robust materials. The GS308 weighs 0.39 kilograms, which makes it lighter and slightly more portable. This might be preferable for users who prioritize compactness or mobility in their network setup. Product release date. GS108 was launched in 2014, making it the older of the two models. It's still a well-regarded switch for those looking for reliability in long-standing hardware. GS308 was launched in 2019, making it the newer version. Despite being a more recent model, some of its specifications, such as the buffer size and warranty, are slightly lower compared to the GS108. Conclusion While both the GS108 and GS308 switches share many core features, such as 8 gigabit Ethernet ports, fanless design, and silent operation. Their differences lie mainly in their warranty, buffer memory, MAC address support, and weight. The GS108 offers a slightly higher buffer memory and a longer warranty, making it potentially more robust for demanding network setups. On the other hand, the GS308 supports more MAC entries and is lighter, making it suitable for newer and more dynamic network environments. Ultimately, both models are highly similar in their performance and features, and choosing between them depends on your specific needs for warranty coverage, buffer memory, and network capacity. Thanks for watching. 
please like and subscribe to this channel.